good day to the audience around the world. Today is Monday, March 8th, 2021, and it's now 11.30 p.m. in Taiwan. I'm Fiona Zhang Xinfang. Welcome to the weekly report of the World New Religion, Taiwan, Wei Xin Shen Jiao, at Wei Xin TV station. By following the holy instruction of Wang Chan Lao Zu, Chan Ji Shan Wei Xin Shen Jiao launched the Xin Chou Year Appreciation Ritual for the blessings of the God of all nations and the magic lantern to the safety of Taiwan. During the ceremony, the Diamond Sutra, the Amitabha Sutra, the Universal Door Sutra of Guan Yin Bodhisattva were recited according to the Dharma Rite. In addition, thousands of candles were lighted up at the altar every day. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi instructed that with the light of Taiwan mingling with the light from the other nations, that there be the common light illuminating the world. This is the true meaning of the ritual. Meanwhile, we are befriending with the world and exchanging our spiritual hearts with God. The ritual mass offerings to all the divine protectors of heaven indiscriminately. We sincerely pray to immortal master Gui Gu, Wang Chan Lao Zu, Holy God, to manifest their majestic power to jointly protect the safety of Taiwan and the world by ending the pandemic of COVID-19 in order to reveal the truth that the world is one family. The Xinchou Year Appreciation Ritual for the Blessings of the God of All Nations and the Magic Lantern to the Safety of Taiwan is held in headquarters Chanjishan Xianfo Si Temple. It will be completed on the second day of February in the lunar calendar. With seven chanters from Weixing Shenjiao Chanting College, chanting scriptures and making offerings every day, there are thousands of oil lamps that lighting up the void and the offerings are made to terminate disasters and misfortune. The virtuous fellows are welcomed to visit the headquarters Chanjishan Xianfo Si Temple to burn incense and pray for blessings during the altar. Wei Xin Shen Jiao Grandmaster Hui Yuan Chan Shi visits the mandala every morning, burns incense in worship, and instructs the cause of rituals to virtue fellows. Uh, Jingle 因为国度太小苦海漂沉已经过了好久好久好几节了默默的在修行
阿德心汉念，终于台湾平安之后，终于受到万国上帝阿拉诸天神啊，都在花露一个大爱。本是天下一家亲的大爱，而相互的扶持，所打开了最扇门之后，哎，我们所体会到的，就万国上帝阿拉的慈悲，来护佑台湾。忽悠地球人类，啊，比赛已经好几千年、好几节的比赛黑暗期，终于在庚子年，武汉肺炎，啊，一场天瘟，把地球人类。Grandmaster encouraged everyone to fulfill the virtue of kindness and charity, the cultivation practice, and to chant the scriptures at home to unlock the heart of Taiwanese people and the people around the world. Not only chanting scriptures to praise the God, but also creating real peace in the world is the important Dharmic treasures of the world. Weixin Report, Headquarters, Shenfo Si Temple. Coming up next. Is the right of transferring the Weixin Canon into scripture collection of Yilan Branch Temple. There are ten designated Weixin Shenjiao Branch Temples keeping the Weixin Canon treasure collection, and Yilan Branch Temple is one of them. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi disclosed that the orientation of Yilan Branch Temple is located at the Li Gua of the Ba Gua of Prior Heaven, which is the east. The deposition of the Weixin Canon treasure collection symbolizes the safety of the Dharma neighborhood is guaranteed. On February 25th, Yilan Branch Temple hosted the rite of transferring the Weixin Canon into scriptural collection. The solemn ceremony has exhilarated both the human and heaven realms. Virtuous cultivators participating in the mission have made great sacrifice and dedication to the completion of the Dharma affair. Everyone was filled with happiness. Let's take a look to learn more about the event. After the Weixin Canon Holy Roll Unfolding Ceremony on February 20th, the ten sets of Weixin Canon were taken by each branch temple to guard one side and protect Taiwan's safety. On February 25th, the Weixin Shenzhou Yilan Branch Temple held the rite of transferring the Weixin Canon into scripture collection. The Virgin Fellows also helped to mark the scripture one by one and placed the Weixin Canon in the cabinet. Under the call of Master Yuan Zhao, the Virgin Fellows gathered and first checked the scripture in order and passed it the numbers one by one to prepare for the storage of the collection. In the south of Buddha, the Weixin Canon was transferred to the library. Weixin Canon is the right Dharma from the originator of the teaching Wang Chan Lao Tzu and Grandmaster Huyan Chan Shi achieved the integration of mankind and the universe, and it is also the inheritance of Weixin Shenjiao. The place where the scripture is located is the location of Immortal Master Guigu, and it is also the location of the Wondrous Dharma of Weixin Shenzhou. Weixin Versus Fellows rely on the Weixin Canon to practice, and the Weixin Canon is also a ladder of ancestor spirits to return to the Pure Land. Master Yuan Zhao also took a group photo with all participating Versus Fellows to commemorate the completion of the ritual, Weixin Report, Yilan Branch Temple. Take a break. We will come back soon. Chanjishan Weixin Shengjiao, Yijing. The 15th day of the first lunar month is the Lantern Festival. 
In the history of Tianjishan Weixin Shenjiao's religious development, Lantern Festival is the day of gratitude and looking back to the past. On this day, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi led Weixin virtuous cultivators to Da Shi Dian Ho, located in Guiren District, Tainan City, for the birthday celebration of Taiwan Zu Shi, the ancestral master. Then they headed to Xinyin District, the Zhongshan Da Chan Si Temple, for expressing gratitude to Buddha. At the same time, it was an opportunity for Weixin virtuous cultivators to review the history of Weixin Shenjiao and understand more about the religious practice of Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi and the cause of the development of Weixin Shenjiao. Now, take a look at this with Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi's footprint. The 15th day of the first solar month is the birthday of Taiwan Zhu Shi. The founder of Chen Jishan Wei Xin Shen Zhao, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi, came to Tainan's Da Shi Dian Ho in Guilin District early in the morning to join Master Yuan Yi, Master Yuan Xin, and other disciples in celebrating the birthday of Taiwan Zhu Shi. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi and Master Yang Wu Cai, the abbot of Da Shi Dian Ho, together led all festival followers to worship with incense. They presented incense, flowers, fruit, delicacies, longevity peach buns and longevity noodles, and prayed for the blessings of Taiwan Zhu Shi for world peace. They piously read the appreciation statement of Taiwan Zhu Shi birthday celebration to express the gratitude to Taiwan Zhu Shi for blessing the people of Taiwan and the people of the world safe and prosperous. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi gave the following speech to appreciate Taiwan Zhu Shi. Uh 让我们台湾人民有这么平安消灾化解祂的慈悲他鼓励所有人去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努力去努
Grand Master Huang Yuan Chan Shi led the fellow cultivators to Zhongshan Da Chan Shi Temple in Xinyin District of Tainan and to thank for the Mother Xie and Taiwan Zhu Shi. Grand Master Huang Yuan Chan Shi also instructed to the fellow cultivators to fulfill our lives with complete thinking and the unity of knowledge and action. So our lives will not be lost in vain. Wei Xin report, Yan Chen Lu, Tainan. It's time for Wei Xin Shenjiao feature story. My colleagues here to share with you the real story of how to utilize Yijing Feng Shui in our daily lives. Please enjoy the story of this week. Hello, everyone. I'm me, Tuo Fu. Welcome to Wei Xin Shenjiao feature story. Today, we continue to share with you. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan's interpretation of Ba Gua, Add Trigrants, and Ba De, Add Virtues. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi particularly host Sinharama Bodhisattva, the widely respected dignity known as Guan Gong, in high esteem. Because of his exceptional morality and righteousness, he is considered an icon emblematic of righteousness. Righteousness, justice, is the pillar between the sky and earth, which goes rebondance to the contrigrant of water. He is by sunshine, surface water evaluates and reaches the sky. It goes up and will eventually come back down to the ground. And that is a symbol of justice. Water is essential to all living creatures. Water has never failed us. So when we wash our hands, drink tea, or anything, that has to do with water. We must be reminded of justice. Justice also means to not think about personal gains. For instance, the righteous bond between brothers is loving and supportive unconditionally. Water, nature, or scriptures selflessly as well. This is to say water stands for justice. Contrigrant is water. Hence, Khan is Ba Gua also echoes justice in Ba De, the eight virtues. Contrigrant stands for mountain claimed by nature and unfettered by anything. Mountains coexist and begonably, they don't fight against one another. Therefore, can perfectly describe as harmony. Chinese people highly value harmony. The notion can be found in countless idioms and auspicious things in this Monday world. We are all equals, so we must not fight over personal gains or even resource to violence. If humans can be like mountains, claimed and unfettered by exterior influence, we should be worry-free. If everyone is worry-free, the society should be in peace and harmony. The latter trigram of Bagua is Kun. Kun symbolic of earth and our abandonment, stands for flatness because the land and our abandon are both flat. Land is the most enduring and compassionate. It provides for all lives indiscriminately and unconditionally. It has always remained plain and regretless while people dig, drill, and even drum west into it. Therefore, Quen perfectly reflects peace, also means flat, in the Ad Virtues. Qian, Dui, Li, Zhen, Xu, Kan, Ge, Quen are the Ad Trigrants known as Ba Gua. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi encouraged us all to study, comprehend, and practice them daily and the results should be incredible. Loyalty, vital parity, benevolence, love, honesty, justice, harmony, and peace are the ever truths we should abide by. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi 
also encourage us to bear the principles in mind and practice them in our daily conduct. When everyone is of virtue, the world should be peaceful. Thank you for watching today's feature story. Wish you all happiness and well-being. See you next time. Take a break. We will come back soon. 启蒙的最佳读本《女娲娘娘的五色石》。微信圣教 Branch Temples launched the Rite of the Heaven official birthday celebration in 微信圣教。We prepared flowers, fruits, incense, and delicacy as offerings. Following Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan's instruction, we also recited the confirmation statement. The participants recited the scriptures piously and meditated the descending of Wang Chan Lao Zhu, the heaven official, and all the heavenly saints, deities, Bodhisattva, and Buddha for protection. We pray for health and wealth. Wisdom and longevity in Xinchou year. Take a look. The 15th day of the first lunar month is not only traditional Chinese Latin festival, but also the birthday of the heaven official of three great emperor officials. Weixin Xianjiao Branch Temples follow the rite to chant sutras and prepare the offerings. Of the incense, flowers, fruits, delicacies, birthday peach bun, so tao, and birthday noodles, so mi, to celebrate the longevity of the heaven official. Meanwhile, Weixin Shenzhao Branch Temples also pray for blessings from the heaven official, protect the safety of the world. May all the epidemics and calamities under heaven be permanently eradicated to end world hunger and wars. Many branch temples also held the light offering benediction rite. For believers on the same day, they made lamp offerings to Buddha's sages and prayed to Buddha's bodhisattvas, sages, and deities for safe and sound all year round, satisfaction in desire of those who had lamp lighting registration. Weixin Shenzhao Xinzhu Da Ban Si Branch Temple venerated three great emperor officials in Sanyuan Golden Hall of Supreme Harmony. This is also one of Dharma lineage. Passed on by Master Yuan Tong Chan Shi, who was the first Zhu Shi enshrined in Da Fan Si Branch Temple. Master Yuan Chao led virtuous fellows to make vegetarian feasted offerings to celebrate the birthday of the Heaven Official Zi Wei Da Di, and offer the blessings and wisdom to virtuous fellows. May all the believers family peace and happiness. Meanwhile, he also reminded virtuous fellows that we should be appreciative. Grateful and repay kindness shown to us by grateful persons. Followed Master Yuan Tong Chan Shi to accept destiny, compliance with Tao, and promoted Da Fan Si Branch Temple for more friends to understand and participate. Wei Xin report. Last for today is the news event from our Wei Xin Shenjiao Branch Temple. Taoyuan Tianyi Branch Temple launched the anniversary disaster elimination and benediction ritual from February 26 to 27 in order to express gratitude to the grace of heaven and celebrate the establishment of the temple. Master Yuan Dao of Tianyi Branch Temple and Master Yuan Meng of Weixin Shenjiao Chanting College led virtuous cultivators to recite the scripture and accredited the merit to the spirits of their ancestors and the souls in the Dharma realm. There, they prayed for the harmony between the underworld and the modern world and for the harvest and safety of Taiwan and the world. On February 26, Tianyi Branch Temple launched the anniversary disaster elimination and benediction ritual, where Master Yuan Meng, Dean of Weixin Shenjiao Chanting College, together with chanters presided at the altar. Master Yuan Dao, host of Tianyi Branch Temple, laid virtuous fellows in attendance to piously invite Wang Chan Lao Zhu, three Chinese ancestors, all heavenly sages, deities, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas to descend to the altar, taking in the offerings and they further prayed for peace in the local district and in Taiwan, 
favorable weather, prosperity of our country, security of our people, and a good harvest. Following chanters, virtuous fellows in attendance piously chanted the heavenly virtuous scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu, Wang Chan Lao Zhu profound scripture, heavenly word deed on Shenlong and Wu Gu scripture, and the Universal Gate Sutra of Guanyin Bodhisattva. Also, with fifty Dharma offerings to the ten directions of Dharma realm spirits, we transfer the merits to the spirits seated at the lotus tablets and at the seven flag altar at the ritual. Virtuous fellows of Tianyi Branch Temple have been dedicated to the preparation of vegetarian feasty offerings and the arrangement of the offering tables. On the afternoon of February 27th, Master Yuan Mong presided at the altar and went on with the offering of sweet dew, where, with mercy and divine power of Buddha's Bodhisattva sages and deities, we made offerings to the spirits in the three realms and the ten Dhamma directions, and prayed for favorable weather in the world, good harvest, economic recovery, and being free from hunger and war. Wishing Report, Tianyi Branch Temple Thank you for tuning in today. Before the end, we would like to invite every global citizen to comply with the prevention measures of COVID-19. When you are in the public places, please do wear the face mask, wash your hands, and use hand sanitizer frequently. Avoid touching any parts of your face, and always maintain a safe social distance. Together, we should fight against the pandemic and protect the safety of the world. We will be back with more updates about Transition Wei Xin Shenjiang next week. Please stay tuned at 11.30 p.m. on every Monday and 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. of the local time in Taiwan on every Tuesday on Wei Xin TV. Wang Chan Lao Tzu bless you. See you next week.